Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is nine o'clock on a Sunday, which means it's time for a review show special. This is not the Craig and Ryland review show. That's on a Wednesday at five o'clock. This is a review show special where I take a deep dive on a particular creator, a particular product, a particular company, and uh, I review some or all of their products. And today I'm going to be talking about a very well-known creator, a guy called Dave Loosely. Now, if you haven't heard of Dave Loosely, uh, there is an interview coming soon on the uh, Talk Magic playlist. But Dave is a very prolific creator of magic. He's been around the industry for a very long time. Uh, for many years, he worked with Alakazam, but now he's publishing his own material. <clears throat> And one thing that Dave has an ability to do and do really, really well is look at a trick and rejig it slightly to make it even better than it was when, it, when, when he first looked at it. And you've seen this over and over again with several products that he's presented when he was with Alakazam. You can just see that he's really kind of elevated that particular routine. Now, uh, as I said, he's now publishing his own magic and he's, his first product that he's actually launching with has literally just come out and it's called Molecules. And he's been teasing this now for a couple of months and uh, a lot of people want to know what Molecules is. Dave is known as somebody who is exceptional at making really clever gimmicks, uh, but at the same time, He's very good when it comes to sleight of hand as well. So what is Molecules? It seems like everybody on Instagram and YouTube and the Magic Cafe and various different Magic forums, they all want to know what Molecules is because everybody knows that when Dave Loosely puts his name to something, it's going to be good. Well, I have seen Molecules. I actually have one here. And this review show is going to be taking a deep dive into Molecules. First of all, I'm going to sit down and do a interview, a short interview uh, with Dave and we're going to be talking about molecules, how he came up with it, the concept behind it. I'm going to get him to perform a routine or two with molecules and then when we've watched that interview I'm going to come back and give the product a full review. I, I just want to say to everybody uh, this is going to be a full unbiased review. When I told Dave that I was going to be reviewing molecules uh, I told him even though I'm doing an interview with you and I've known you for years I will be completely honest. If it's not very good, I'm going to let everyone know it's not very good. So without further ado, let's have a look at the interview with Dave, where he talks all about molecules, what's it about, and he actually performs a couple of the routines off there as well. Let's roll that right now. So guys, I am here with Dave Loosely, the man responsible for one of the most talked about products in magic at the moment. Everybody is talking wow. about it on Instagram. <laughs> Everybody's talking about it on the forums. We are, of course, talking about Molecules, which is your first big release since yes. Alakazam, really. So it's your first big release and you're self-publishing this. The only place that you can get it yeah. is directly through you. Yeah. This it's is exciting. exciting times, Dave. Exciting times, right? <laughs> No, it's, it's so exciting. It's something that um, I've just been, I've been doing and working on it and it's been evolving and adapting over time to the point where it's become like a project rather than just an, a one-off effect sort of thing. And uh, I always put stuff that I create for me out when it's ready, when it's been with me for years that I feel comfortable and I just have to have that gut instinct to go I think people are liking because I'm getting good reactions out of it so I'll put it out there and see but obviously doing it on my own self-publishing it is a scary thing um, but hopefully people enjoy it and like it and uh, yeah I mean I've learned if anything in the magic world you can't impress everyone so I've learned that but I hope you like it, is what I'm saying. <laughs> the thing, you are very good at bringing out commercial close-up magic. You're very good at bringing out stuff that people are going to use. And I think one of the reasons for that is because you're a worker yourself. You know what works in the real world. You know what's going to get a good reaction. You know what's not going to get a good reaction. And all of the material that you bring out, you've worked it at gigs. It's not like you've had an idea, you've had a brain fart, five minutes later you've decided to release it. That's not the case. No, no, absolutely, yeah. And that's really important to me, actually. Um, we were speaking earlier and, you know, I've always aimed for like one trick a year uh, for release. And it just so happens that obviously I, I've had a lot of time to to sit and create ideas and uh, these things are like stacking up and I thought ah oh, that's ready and that's ready so I've got two uh, I think that you know maybe it's time to to put one out and, and if I end up doing two a year or, or maybe it, 
I don't know, three a year. But I, the thing is, it's just me. And I obviously want to share my magic with the community, but I'm going to be the one that's making every, every single thing up. So I'm going to do it in like small matches, uh, pretty much. Um, and yeah, the, the way the place at the moment, anyway, when this has gone out, the place that you get it is, is through me. And I just think the time's right. I'm ready to release it. I'm really happy with it. It started different to where it is now. And you get all of that on the video as well. So originally uh, you'll see a ball bearing probably in the trailer it originally started with a coin and a ball bearing and and that's something that was eight months of working in i think and uh the reason i didn't supply it with a half dollar and a ball bearing is because you can go out and buy a ball bearing you can order one on amazon for three pounds okay it's easy accessible for you to go and pick up a ball bearing so i wanted to supply that information and the routine so that you can go and get it but at the same time I wanted to make molecules cheap enough for you to be able to afford and get but also receiving a really cool set with it and that's where I managed to find what I now use as molecules which is the eight ball presentation and, and those the thing is with the eight ball and Craig I, I've done a lot of research on uh on pool ball magic and and because there's just some really great reactions from it i even had the set that you put out uh with the pool walls and that was really great There's some great creative thoughts and ideas on it the only issue i had with the whole pool ball thing is that along with all the other stuff we'll call it in my pockets a pool ball is bulky right and it just doesn't sit well in your front pockets i mean it makes you look good but it doesn't sit well in your front pocket or your back pocket right um, especially when you're walking around. If you're in a casual environment, an everyday environment where you're not in a suit, you can't carry a pool ball in your jeans, right? The great thing about this is you get that whole pool ball aspect from it as well, but it's smaller, right? So if you want to do the eight ball, any eight ball routine where they pick the car, the eight of clubs, the eight of spades, um, you can actually do that with the loyalty card version of molecules so they can pick a card you could have it in an envelope okay you say oh, my predictions in the envelope they pick the eight of clubs you come out and you bring out this loyalty card and you actually now show it and it's got on it the eight ball you say look you can see that there's lots of different ones on here but i knew you were going to pick a black eight and they go what so you take the loyalty card, you're going to seriously hold your hand out and you push out the eight ball from the loyalty card. And so it's a black eight, it's probably, look at me, it's probably the club, right? So now you've got that and, th and this comes out of your wallet. So it's, it almost says there's nothing hiding under it. Very organic. Um, so yeah, it kind of put the eight ball thing into an everyday environment. And now with molecules, what you receive in molecules, I have those two things in my back left pocket and they're there. They're just there, ready to go. You can sit down because the back left pocket actually goes down further down the thigh, the bottom of the of a um, pocket. Well, so does the right one, but that's where we keep it in the left one. Um, so when you're sat down, you don't even feel it, right? So now I carry molecules everywhere with me and it's so much magic compact into those two little, we'll call them props, but the two little props with the loyalty card, you get that aspect if you just want to do a quick production, you know. A magician is always told that we can bring things to life, right? So let me try something. Stare at the eight ball on here. If I shake it, did you see it slowly come to life? And, and I think, it, hold it, bang, push it out. And, you know. and I think that's what's important for people to realize if they're watching this and thinking, what the hell is molecules? I'm going to get you to perform a routine or two in a minute. But what molecules is, having now played with it and seen it, it's more than just a trick. It's yeah. more than just, uh, you know, you go to a magic shop and you get a trick and you watch it and you do one thing with it and one thing only. It's more than that. There's a whole bunch of different routines and ideas that you can do with this, depending on the style of magic that you like. You can take it in this direction. You can take it in this direction. It, it is really a set that allows you to do a lot of different stuff. I'm really, really glad you said that as well, Craig. You picked it up from it, and I, I appreciate that because that is what I aim to do. And it's very hard on a on any publicity, like a trailer. It's very hard to be like you're going to get 
because people always expect it just to be sold out on a trailer. Do you know what I mean? So, but when you watch it, it's like the, the project's like 55 minutes long. It's fun. It's well paced. And there's some other stuff that you don't even see on a trailer. There's a really cool thing um, with a straw. There's a routine with, with a straw and actually you end up blowing the eight ball out of a straw, um, which is pretty cool. So yeah, there's some really cool bits on there and that, the bare bones of it the the sort of changing from a flat ball into the eight ball or squashing it down is just like you said is just the bare bones but actually once you've learned it you can take molecules and adapt it to, to suit your style now for me the eight ball is perfect it just suits my style perfectly and i think it will suit a lot of people's style and it's something that isn't a card trick and it's something that's going to get people's attention but you know, I have played around with this with a bottle cap, you know, so you could do the same with a bottle cap and a squash bottle cap, much like I used in squash. The routine, it just looks like you take the bottle cap and you squash it, then you take it back and it sort of pops itself back out again, or you can blow it back out with the straw. Um, so, yeah, there's some really, really cool things that you can then adapt to suit whatever suits you. You know, I, I, would, I was playing around just how sad I was. Uh, I took a, a Starburst suite and I smashed it down with a hammer, right? And you got this like squash Starburst suite and a normal wrap Starburst suite. So then how cool is that? It's something cool for Instagram, you know, and you can do that routine in a in a sweet shop or wherever it is to, to build that video for you. And that's what I mean is once you understand it, you can just adapt it to suit your style. Uh, but I've had I've had countless hours of fun with it. And yeah, just the straw one, you basically animate. So you could start with a flat disc. You act like there's a valve in there and then you put the straw in, blow it up and then you finally blow it out. And now it's no longer flat, it's full. Um, so yeah, there's some real, <laughs> some real fun things that you can do with it. And uh, I've just, it suits my style. I've worked it in. I know the reactions that you can get. Uh, and it, yeah, it's a lot of fun to do. Well, could you perform a, a routine or two off molecules for us? Would that be okay? Yeah, of course. Man. So um, what I do is I just tilt the camera forward so that the guys can see it down here. And I know I'm wearing black, so ready and banish. It's good, isn't it? <laughs> all right. So this is all about imagination, you know, because as we get older, we lose our imagination a little bit. When I was younger, I could sit in a toy car and walk it around with my feet and actually in my mind believe that I'm in a Formula One car on the track, right? Now, I still have that imagination because I haven't grown up like Peter Pan. But you probably just look at that and think it's a, a black disc, right? And you'd be right to, you'd be right to think that that's just a black disc. But let me demonstrate. Uh, for example, if I take a coin here, you can see that. Face it inside my hand. Now, I put a black disc on top. To me, I can see through my hand. You probably can't see that. It just looks like a, a black disc. But watch, if I take it, imagine it's like a, a portal, right? A black hole. So if I put that in with the coin, oh, I just felt it happen there. It kind of gets sucked inside the, uh, the black hole, that coin. Now, the only way to get it out is to find the exit point, which is just there. And you can throw it right away out. Now, of course, to you, it's just a black bit of plastic, but I have a good imagination. So I probably imagine this is something like a, um, oh, what's it like an eight ball, isn't it? It looks a little bit like an eight ball, but it's like a flat eight ball, which is a bit odd. But imagine, okay, just use your imagination. Go with me on this. Imagine that my left hand is like the pocket of a pool table. And if you pot the eight ball, you always lose the game, right? But I'm a magician, so imagine I was in control of that. The moment the eight ball went into the pocket, I could just control it to wherever I wanted it to be. Okay. Now this is obviously flat. Okay, you can see that there. But use our imagination. It's very simple. Let's put it inside my hand. You might even hear it as it as it changes into being a solid eight ball, just like so, until you flatten it. Oh, it's gone. So you flatten it down, sorry, right the way back down to being flat again. Yeah. Take, take it out of the screen and you can switch it, it's very simple. Uh, but this is just imagination and to you it probably just looks like a little black disc. So let's turn it back to being exactly what it was. And that's how imagination can be magical.
That is really, really commercial. Sorry, I threw it off the screen. <laughs> oh, the pain, the matter. That is really commercial. I mean, you do that move, that that move that I'm not going to talk about. You do that move so freaking well, Dave. I mean, oh, this is coming from somebody who likes and loves coin magic. I don't think I've seen anyone do that so naturally. That was oh. so good. But that's but, the, but I really appreciate that. But you've you've seen the thing now, and you realise how easy the move actually is, right? So it, once you understand the move, and I know where I'm playing, like it was what we said in the interview earlier that we did, is that I can bring my hand in close to me if I know I've got people standing around me, and that's what I hope is that people see the value in the explanation video as well, because we go are going to a lot of detail um, of how to do it and once you've got this and it really isn't that difficult to get once you've got it it will become your everyday coin manage because just by placing it here and and getting people to stare at it you can then make it travel from one hand to the other and you can do just the, use it as a coin move but what you really have here is it adapted and, and molded into a routine that has a start middle and end to it um so yeah, it, it's super, it's super fun to do. I'm really excited to do it. I'm sorry for throwing it off the screen. I hope uh, people understand that you uh, it then squashes, right? <laughs> no, no, I, it, it totally got that. I mean, it, it totally not an issue. I mean, you're sitting down, performing to camera as well. Yeah. Um, I, and it still looked amazing. I mean, the thing with this routine, well, with all of the routines on the set, that thing people need to understand, no table required. No. Virtual no pocket space, yeah. instant reset. Magic happens in the spectator's hands if you want it to. If we're social distancing, yeah. you can do it without, you can still make it interactive, but without having the spectators hold it, which I think is a very important point. For sure, yeah, for sure. And um, if you can and you're happy to and you're using alcohol gels or whatever, you, you want to get somebody to gel their hands up, however you want to do it, the real magic, right, in this, is when they feel this to when they feel the ball, okay? So, especially from this, right? Now, I, I've made sure from looking for the, the, the eight balls took me forever to source to find the right ones. Um, and there was only one way of me actually being able to find them and do it. So you'll see that when you get it. But um, the weight, the weight's really important because if I'm doing this this version, I'll spin this on the table and I let it fall. That tells them it's flat. I'll then let them pick it up and check it. They feel how light it is, okay? From the moment that it then changes to this, I get them to hold their hand out. They feel that. And that is a weight. There's a weight behind it. Now, not only has it visually changed, but they've almost felt that moment it changed, if that makes sense. Um, if, you, if you're standing up, but that flatten move that I, uh, my hand just missed and it went flying off, but the flatten move, I've actually done under my foot, right? So I've taken the ball bearing and I throw it under my foot and stamp down. And now when I lift my foot up, it's flattened. So th there's some really nice touches to it, but it is a real world working effect. And, and what's great really? about it is that's it. Like that is all you need on you. Now I do supply, a uh, really cool little, uh, uh, I don't know what to call it, it's like a... Can you show them this? Because this, for me, is just as good as all the other routines. I love this. <laughs> so, um, yeah, sure. So th this is a, a pool, I don't see it. It's like an eight ball there, but it's on a pool table. See that there. Um, and what this is, is a loyalty card. Okay, can you see that? So you can collect, like, uh, drinks every time that you well, basically you can also throw the eight ball out of it so that it's no longer inside which is pretty cool what an opener <laughs> it's cool right and what an um, opener. i mean talk about something quick and visual that establishes credibility right from the very first second damn yeah thank you and and i've had a lot of fun with it and also you can that was what i was talking about you can adapt it to just a an eight force, whatever black eight card for you want to force. That is a really nice thing. And it it comes in the little uh, 
well, you get a couple, two of each of the business cards, two of each of these, if that makes sense. Uh, so you're set. And if you want to change it from that to doing it um, like a out to lunch principle, that's another uh, version that you get if, if you want to work it that way. But that will just sit in my wallet. I've got one of those little trifold wallets and it will just sit in there and it will be ready to go. So I know that's in the wallet. With those two things in my back pocket, I'm set for like a, a set full routine. Um, and yeah, I, I love it. So hopefully everyone else will enjoy it and get something out of it. So. It's fantastic. So it's available now. Give me the URL, Dave. Yeah. So it'll be, uh, it's my website, which is daveloosenymagic.co.uk. And then you're just going to go forward slash shop or you'll just go on the site and hit the shop button and uh, you'll be able to pick yourself one up, hopefully. As I say, and this isn't a sales pitch, um, I will genuinely, I genuinely make these one at a time. And I'm looking to do this in batches of 50 because I'm a one man band. I have uh, a job as well. So, <laughs> um, but I want to get these out. I want to share these with you guys. And so please be patient if it says sold out on the site. Um, by all means, you know, you can email me if you're interested in one and that I'll put a little list together. But um, yeah, I I will try and get them out as quick as I can at the same time. So this is the first batch. We're filming this at the first batch. So these bad boys are ready, are ready to go. They're all packaged, everything you need inside. Um, and you'll get obviously the link to the the 55 minute video with all the routines on there. That is absolutely brilliant. And while you're there, get on Dave's mailing list because obviously that's the best way to find out about the new stuff that you've got coming out, right? Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, things change as things evolve, you know, but for me at the moment, the place that I'm going to be sort of publicizing, like the first release of effects will be on my site. So chances are, when you guys are watching this, you probably missed the release of them because you're not on my email list but Craig is uh he's a great guy he's one of my good friends of magic so I really want to make sure you guys support his channel first off but as I'm here then you know if your friends are crazy friends of mine so uh, head over to the site and uh pop my name down and uh, hopefully we can go get you one sorted out but as I say yeah it is first come first serve but I'll, I'll just be making them in sort of batches of 50 and dwindling them out as and when i can but at the same time as that i already know what release number two is and if you like if you like this then it's uh it's kind of how do i explain this it's its own standalone thing but it's kind of like how do i say this without giving it away just subscribe you'll be the first people to see it then won't giant you? But... tease dave loosely you giant tease <laughs> Can't worry. well we'll get you back on the channel when the new one comes out so we can talk about that one as well but that's awesome great. man i am now going to review this and probably butcher one or two of the routines that you put on it so uh we're going to now shoot back over to the studio where i'm going to give molecules by dave loosely a full review so guys, that is uh, the interview with Dave. He is such a lovely guy and he's so proud of this particular routine. He really is. It's something that he spent a long time working on. He spent the last year working on this routine. And so now I get a chance to review it for you. And uh, I've got the packaging over here. Here it is, Molecules by Dave Loosely. So first of all, what is it? Well, if you saw the interview, you'll have a rough idea of what this is. What you get inside this package is you get the stuff that you need to create the loyalty card production. Um, you also get the clear case that you can actually put that loyalty card in. So you get everything you need for the loyalty card production. You also get the eight ball, um, which is amazing. When I saw Dave do this over, over Zoom when I was interviewing him, I thought that the eight ball was rubber, but it's not. It's actually like a proper eight ball. It looks and feels just like an eight ball, but just miniaturized. So you get the eight ball. You also get the flat eight ball, uh, which is really cool as well. And uh, you get a 50 minute download where Dave talks about a whole bunch of different ideas. So there's a lot you get in this package for 25 pounds. So the main molecules routine, what happens with the download? First of all, Dave performs a routine with a, with a, 
a ball bearing and a coin. And it's a really nice spellbound type routine with a coin and a ball bearing. Uh, he does not actually give you the ball bearing because he says you can get it for £3 from Amazon. So, And you can if you want to do that. Um, then he explains exactly where to get it and he teaches the routine. But then he goes into the main molecules routine, which you saw him perform, uh, which is basically, I mean, the best way to describe it is it's almost like a coin flurry uh, mixed with a series of transpositions uh, or, or, or transformations. You start off with the coin. Uh, you use this little flat disc that you call a hole to make the coin disappear. The coin then comes visibly out. You then turn the hole into uh, an eight, a flat eight ball. That disappears, comes back. Then you turn it into a round eight ball. You squash it flat and then you turn it back uh, or you can make it disappear or whatever. That's the actual molecules routine, which is a really well thought out worker's routine. It really is. Um, it's, it's the sort of thing that you just look at and you go, okay, this is going to work in the real world. And it, it will. I know for a fact this routine will work in the real world. And the nice thing is you're not going to need a table. He was obviously performing at the table. It's all designed to be able to be done into the spectator's hands. Now, with regards to the handling, you probably noticed in that routine that one thing that Dave is very, very good at, and I said in the interview, but I'm going to say it again, I don't think I've ever met anyone who's as good at doing this move as Dave is. He does it so naturally, is uh, I, I a steal where you put the coin in the hand and it's openly in the hand and then you steal as you point to it um he teaches that in great detail i mean it's the best source that i've ever seen to learn how to do that move and that's a great utility move that you can actually incorporate into your own magic um so he, he and his whole routine is based around that move now one thing that i want to say is although i do that move and i like that move I think that people who get this, that understand, when you watch the download and you, you see all the different ideas that Dave's got with it, I think that creative people that are watching this are going to be able to take this and go in a completely different direction with it. I think by incorporating other moves and retention passes and finger palms and utility switches, I think there's an awful lot more that you can do with this. Uh, in fact, I've been playing around with the molecules routine and I think more could be done with the hole at the beginning. You've brought out this incredible object. You've brought out this hole, which is an impossible object. And, and really, the only purpose for the hole before it turns into the flat eight ball is to take the coin and... Um, uh, is to take the uh, uh, is to make the coin disappear. You know, you talk about how that you can make it go into the into the hole and then bring it back out again, which is fine. That's a great way of doing it. But I think more can be made of that. Uh, so I've been playing around with combining it with portable hole by Paul Harris and throwing in a purse frame and actually having a thing where you make the hole appear first, then you make the coin appear, then the coin goes into the hole, uh, a whole bunch, a sequence like that. And it ends the same with going into an eight ball, but I've, ch I've varied some of the slights with that as well um, to try and make it so that instead of that wonderful move that Dave does, I'm using kind of a more of an in-the-hands type thing. I'll show you that routine. Let me perform that routine for you right now so you can see my take on it. Now, this is only after a few days playing around with molecules. I'm enjoying working with this set. Um, I love the props that you actually get with this. And my, my creative juices, ugh, my creative juices are flowing and I've got so many different ideas that I can do with this. So I just want to show you what I'm doing with it and how you can take the main molecules routine and kind of almost take it in a completely different direction by just incorporating a little bit more sleight of hand. Let's have a look at that right now. So the main rule of magic is never tell the audience how the trick works. It's kind of the unwritten rule. You can never tell the audience how the trick works. I'm going to teach you, Sarah, how to do two things in magic. I'm going to teach you how to make something appear, and I'm going to teach you how to make something disappear. To make something appear, you need one of these. You can only get one of these if you're a magician. You have to get it from a magic shop. This is an invisible purse. Uh, the whole thing's not, in, uh, not invisible. If it was, you'd never see it, but the bag is invisible. This is how you make things appear because you can keep things inside there. Nobody can see them. And yet anytime you want them, you reach into the invisible purse and you pull it out. It looks a little bit like this. See, inside this purse, I have a little black disc mm. now you're probably wondering well what's a little black disc well i'm telling you right now this is not just any little black disc this is actually a portable hole mm -hmm. and it sends objects into another dimension right now i know that sounds ridiculous i'm going to prove it to you uh and i'll prove it to you with a coin 
remember how to make things appear. You just reach into the invisible purse. When you do, you can take out anything you want to, in this case, a coin. So we've got a coin from America that's an American half dollar, a 50 cent piece, a silver coin. And as well as that, we have the pur uh, we have the invisible purse and we have the hole. The hole, things, the hole makes things invisible uh, or disappear and the purse makes things appear. Let me show you what I mean. Watch the coin. If I want to make this coin disappear, I just drop it in the hole. When it's in the hole, it's gone completely, never to be seen again. But if I want to bring it back, there is a connection in between the hole and the purse, which means to bring the coin back, all I have to do is open up the purse and hey presto, the coin comes back again. Now you might have missed that, so let me do that again for you. Keep one eye on the coin, keep one eye on the purse, keep one eye on the hole. You'll need an extra eye, but that's fine. It goes like this. You drop the coin right there into the hole. When it's inside the hole, it's gone for good until you open up the purse, and that's when the, hole, the coin comes back. Now, if you're going to do this and you're going to get yourself an invisible purse and you're going to get yourself a hole, I've got a few tips for you. Tip number one, never take the coin, put the coin in the hand and then put the hole into the hand at the same time as the coin. Because if you do that, what will happen is it will suck the coin up so hard it will get stuck in there and there's no way to have that coin go back inside the, uh, the purse. What you have to do is find the exit hole, which is right there, and then you can, uh, you can throw it back out. Uh, the other thing is, if you're, as well as that, let's say that you're, you're doing the trick where you're dropping the coin into the hole. Uh, don't throw too hard. If you throw too hard, it will make the coin disappear. But again, you're going to have a situation where it won't go into the purse. You just have to snap and you can make it come out through the other side. That's kind of really important. The other thing that you need about this is you need to use your imagination because obviously when you're dealing with invisible coins and invisible purses and invisible holes, it is very, very important to have a good imagination. And you can test your imagination by pretending something is something else. For example, we know this is a hole. I've proved to you it's a hole. But even though I've proved to you it's a hole, if we use our imagination, I could probably pretend that that's actually an eight ball. It's a flat eight ball, but it's now actually an eight ball. If you can do that, that means that you've got a really good imagination. If you want to further prove that you've got a good imagination, you can pretend that your hand is a pocket on a pool table. You can pretend your hand is a pocket on the pool table. And obviously, we know what happens. If you put an eight ball in the pocket on a pool table, you lose the game. And the only way to actually start playing again is to take a coin, put it into the pool table. All the balls come out a little bit like this and you're able to play again. Of course, the question is, if that's back there, where's the coin gone? Well, remember, if anything disappears, it goes back inside the purse. Are we following this? Is this whole thing making any sense at all? Because frankly, it's making no sense to me. Uh, if you want to further prove your imagination, you want to make sure that you really have a good imagination, what you can do is you can take the coin. Uh, well, not the coin. The coin's over there. You can take the hole. I'm confusing myself right now, to be honest there. You can take the hole. You can put the hole, which is now an eight ball. It's a flat eight ball. You can put it into your hand and all you have to do is squeeze one more time really really hard and if you've got a really good imagination and I mean a really good imagination you can actually pretend that that eight ball is real it started off as a little disc then it turned into a flat eight ball now it's a real eight ball but remember the whole thing is in your imagination the whole thing is in your imagination and if you stop pretending even for a split second then what will happen is we'll go back to when it was just a flat eight ball in fact if we continue to stop imagining we'll go back to when it was a little hole. And if it's a little hole, we can take that coin and we can put that inside the hole again. And then we can go back to where we were at the very, very beginning, where all we had was a purse with nothing else other than our imagination. And that's the trick. Thank you very much. So the other thing that you get is you get all of the props that you need in order to do the, uh, the, um, uh, the loyalty card thing, which is where you show the loyalty card, you take it out the sleeve, and boom, the eight ball appears and it, it disappears off the photo. This, for me, and I think I mentioned this in the interview, this, for me, is one of the best openers I've ever seen. Now, I've talked a lot on this channel about openers and how to create an opening routine and the construction of an opening routine and what it should accomplish and what it should do. And for me, that loyalty card thing is a great way to open a set because you've got the loyalty card, you show it, you show the back of it, you take it out the sleeve and boom, the eight ball appears. I think it's incredible. Uh, I am absolutely going to be doing that. I also like that it's, it's self-contained inside that see-through plastic and you can just put that in your wallet. Um, and I've tried, it fits really nicely into my shadow wallet. So I can have my shadow wallet, I can have that inside there. I can take it out, it makes sense, it's an organic object. It reminded me a little bit of Nailed by Jay Sankey. If you've ever seen Nailed by Jay Sankey, the concept behind it was very similar. 
but I think it's more organic than having a picture for no reason of a, you know, like a, 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 a nail in a, in a piece of wood. You've actually got a reason for this. It's a loyalty card and you, you you're taking it out of the thing to show the other side of it and then boom, it appears. I think that's really great. Um, then Dave has lots of optional routines at the end as well. He has kind of afterthoughts and further thoughts and further routining ideas. And there's a lot of different stuff that he puts across there, which is really, really clever. But as I say, I've been thinking about this from a creativity point of view. And there's so many different ways that you can go with this. Imagine having a little coin envelope, just big enough, you know, kind of the sort of thing that you'd maybe use at the end of your nest of wallets routine, just a really small coin envelope. And talking about how there's a prediction inside there. Um, and then having someone pick a card and they pick a black eight and, and you say, okay, well, I, you know, you could have picked anything. You picked a black eight. I predicted that. And then inside this little uh, envelope is, uh, is a black eight, uh, the flat black eight. And you say, well, you know, it's a black eight uh, in case you can't see that. And boom, turning it into an actual eight ball. And I love the idea. And Dave talks about this on the download as well. I love the idea of then taking that little black eight and turning it into a normal size black eight ball. Um, which I think would just get gasps, I really do. And I carry an eight ball around with me all the time because I use it for a lot of routines, uh, as I've talked about on the channel before, and I also use an eight ball as a final load in a chop cup routine. So having an eight ball with me, I have an eight ball anyway, having the ability of like going from flat to small to then big, I think that would look really, really cool. Uh, I also like the idea of getting one of those little toy briefcases and opening it up and almost like the bowling ball from briefcase, but with, a, with an eight ball, I think that could be quite cool as well and then squashing it flat into a disc as you put it back in there. And you could even do a card revelation with this as well. So you could actually incorporate this uh, into a deck of cards and you could do almost like a squashed style thing with an eight ball um, and a selected playing card. And I think that's really clever. Dave doesn't discuss that on the download, but when I first saw the props, I was like, oh my gosh, this would be perfect for a card revelation. And I really do think it'd be perfect for a card revelation. In fact, I've been workshopping that idea and I'll show you that. Have a look at this. Uh, this is kind of the idea that I've got in mind with using the props for um, kind of a card revelation. Have a look at this. So I've got Sarah behind the camera. You're gonna help me, is that all right, Sarah? Yep. Got a pack of 52 playing cards here. Now, normally if I was going to do this trick, I would, uh, I would have you pick a card and I wouldn't want to see what the card is. But as you're behind the camera, I'm gonna give you a chance to, uh, I'll sign it for you. So which card would you like? Uh, anyone you want to, it's completely up to you. There's a whole bunch of them in there. Um, that five. That five of diamonds, yeah? yeah? Okay, cool. Right. And do you want to change your mind? I don't want you saying I made you pick the five of diamonds. Oh, yes, you made me pick that one. Don't want that one. <laughs> no, it's fine. Awesome. I'm just going to write your name on it there. Now, obviously, normally this would be done without me even seeing this, but Sarah's hands are busy, so I'm going to do it for her. So we now have your card, Sarah. Five of diamonds signed. It's the, it's the only card in the deck with your name on it like that. Okay. So... Uh, we're going to put the card back in the pack as I shuffle through the cards like this. Anytime you want to, just say stop. Oh, um, stop. Right there? Yeah. I'm going to pop your five right back there, just like that. Is that fair? Okay. Now I'm going to try and find your card in a very interesting way. Normally most magicians will spread through the deck and they'll try and find the card that way. I have something very special. You play pool, right? Yep. Well, I have here... You know I do. Well, yeah, yeah, and you always beat me. Um, I have here an invisible purse. Now, the whole thing's not invisible. If it was, you'd never see it, but the bag is invisible, which means anything inside the bag is invisible until you take it out. And inside here, I have a magic pool ball, not just any pool ball, an eight ball. Uh, and you can't see it until I open up the purse and reach inside, and then it becomes visible. There it is, Sarah, a magic eight ball. Look at the size of that. Isn't that cute? Oh, stinky. Now, I, I, I'd give you this to examine, but obviously you're behind the camera. But I want you to watch. We're going to use the eight ball to try and find your card. We don't need the purse anymore. Watch the eight ball. Watch the card. It happens on three. One, two, three. Did you hear that? <clears throat> now, it sounds like the... Uh, did you hear the slap, Yeah. Because yeah. it's not that the eight balls disappeared. That's not what's happened. What's actually happened is the eight balls penetrated down into the deck to find your card. Right. Let me show you what I mean. If I go through these cards, I want you to tell me if one stands out. Because hopefully, if we've done this right, one, well, one card should stand out. There you go. Look, one card has now got a big, flattened eight ball on it. Can you see that? Yeah. All of these cards it went through, and it landed flattened on one card and one card only which happens to be the five of diamonds, Sarah, your card. It went through every single one of these cards 
and it found your card. Was that pretty good? Yeah. Now, the only problem is, and there is a problem with this, I've now got a flat eight ball stuck on the back of your card. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, I can fix this. Watch. One, two, three. I can actually pull that <laughs> flat eight ball back off your card, which is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. But the thing is, obviously, I have to go back to where I began and uh, how I began at the very, very beginning was the eight ball was inside the invisible purse. So I need to put the eight ball back inside the invisible purse. Mm -hmm. However, in order to do that, it's not going to work being able to just put a flat eight ball inside the purse. So watch the eight ball. If I rub, I can make it go back to a spherical position, which means I can take that ball, put it inside the purse, close up the purse, put the purse away, and we can move on with another trick. So there you go. I mean, let's just sum this up. Uh, you get an incredible opener with loyalty card. The main molecules routine is very well thought out and really commercial. The afterthoughts that you get with this are great. But the, pr the, the, the main thing for me is the props that you get. Because these props are going to allow you to do so much. And I just can't stop thinking of ideas. I just cannot stop thinking of ideas. And if Dave's watching this, and I'm sure he is, I really hope Dave sets up like a Facebook group for molecules, because I think this is the sort of thing that when magicians get their hands on it, they're going to come up with ideas. And I think it'd be really nice to have a Facebook group where people can share ideas for molecules, because I know I've got a whole bunch of ideas that I'd put in there immediately. Um, so Dave, if you're watching this, please set up a Facebook group for molecules. I think that'd be a really good idea. Uh, or even a Facebook group for you as a creator where people discuss all of your products, not just molecules. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's only £25, which for everything that you get, including the download, is great especially as the um, the instructions on how to actually do that steal are the best I've ever seen. And that is a wonderful move that's not difficult to do that you don't see a lot of people doing it, uh, either. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's a great product. I'm going to give it 95%. I think it's really strong. Um, <clears throat> I think that you're going to open it. You're going to play around with the... It's, it's fun to practice with. It's one of those routines that it's fun to practice with because it's combining everything. You get to learn some sleight of hand. Uh, you get to watch some really cool routines. But you also get fun little toys that you can play with and come up with ideas for as well. It's kind of got everything you need, whether you're an amateur, a hobbyist, or a semi-professional. It's got everything. Although professionals, honestly... This is something you want to carry around with you. It takes up virtually no pocket space. It's instantly reset. You can go in multiple directions with it. Um, it's visible. It takes place in the spectator's hands, or you can do it more uh, hands-off if, if you're in a COVID environment where people are very concerned about social distancing. There's so many different ways that you can do this. 95%. Uh, I highly recommend it. Dave Loosely, well done. And please get on his mailing list because the only way you're going to find out about Dave's new routines is by going to his mailing list. Uh, and the only way you can buy this is directly from Dave Loosely. So the link is down below and the link is also in the description. Make sure that you go and support Dave and uh, yeah, get molecules because I think it's really good. Uh, other than that, thanks very much for joining me again on the Sunday evening. I hope you guys have enjoyed the review show special. Like I said last week, if there's somebody who you want me to particularly do a review show special on, or if there's a company you want me to do a review show special on, or if there's a particular product you want me to do a review show special on, please let me know and I would love to do that for you. Outside of that, if you want to see more videos like this, please do me a favour, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, like the video, and I'm going to be back again Monday. Uh, we're going to have a shorts at two o'clock, at six o'clock we're going to have a magic live and at nine o'clock we are going to have a five by five so i'll see you then thanks very much for watching my name's craig from magic tv